Hey guys, it's Hafiz. Today I'm going to show you how to reset your air condition or uh, how to fix it if there is uh, something wrong with it and it's not working. Right now it's almost like 90 degrees inside my truck as you can see. I'm using this uh, pulp recorder. So uh, what you have to do, turn off your truck and then uh, turn on the key. Once you turn on your truck key, go right here, as you can see it's at zero, and you turn it all the way to heat, and then this, you turn it on to the face. So once it's there, you press these two buttons, you just hold them, and wait till you see the flashing lights, and you let it go and just wait until uh, they stop and uh, you can start your truck after that and uh, it should help uh, to reset, reset your air condition that's the first thing you need to do if you see your air condition is not working so I'm just gonna give it a little bit as you can see the lights are off so I'm going to turn off my switch and turn back on. And I'm going to start my truck. And now I can turn this all the way to the cold and turn on the AC. I'm gonna monitor if my AC turn on. If not, then I'm, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, for the next step, what you have to do, you need uh, this uh, uh, pipe uh, to fill up the air condition freon into the system, and you also have a gauge on it. So you plug in this one, and you see if there's any freon pressure you can see. If not, then look at your compressor so sometimes the compressor get jammed so all you have to do take a, a hammer and tap on this compressor that I'm gonna show you you see it's stuck and now you see that uh, this compressor just unlocked sometime when uh, the truck is sitting for a little bit it get rusty and then uh, it got locked or sometimes it go bad so if the compressor go bad you can also try this and most likely it's gonna work for temporary but you have to change your compressor later on so now you can see the gauge is showing uh, that the, there is a freon in the system and uh, it's on the green but uh, I'm gonna let the uh, truck run for a little bit and uh, make sure your AC is on inside the truck and uh, uh, you see the if it's in green that means you should have enough cooling uh, in the system so uh, I'm gonna monitor that and uh, see where it goes and uh, if it stays uh, in green I just have to uh, wait but uh, if uh, it go below green like in a white area and uh, that mean the pressure is low the freon is low in the system so I have to refill that so uh, I'm gonna that's the third step that you have to do look at uh, the freon level and this uh, little hammer can uh, uh, get you uh, uh, AC warning. So now I'm gonna monitor inside. As you can see, <coughs> my uh, my temperature is dropping actually, and uh, it's coming below 100. And uh, uh, you can see with the thermostat inside, and uh, my AC is on. So, uh, like I said, if uh, your AC is not working after this step, like your compressor is running, and then uh, uh, mostly if your Freon is low, the compressor don't turn on. So, uh, if the compressor is stuck and it's not uh, running, you know, you can also uh, use this uh, uh, WD-40 if it's rusty, you know, uh, to kill uh, the rust and all that. <coughs> so. Uh, that's what I'm doing because uh, in, uh, so it don't uh, get stuck in future you know and uh, if the freon is low you can buy that uh, uh, freon from any truck stop 
and uh, you can connect it to the same gauge we have and uh, just connect it and uh, just keep shaking that you know and uh, uh, keep the AC on and you see the bottom of it this is a uh, on the gauge and the uh, on the on, on the front and the bottom there is a connection that you can plug in the bottle and uh, you can have a uh, uh, you know the you can refill your uh, freon in the system so my truck is at 80 degrees inside cab so i have enough cooling it's at 75 now so i'm good to go I hope this uh, will help you guys and uh, get you guys uh, rolling and uh, please subscribe the channel and uh, like the video share with your friends and uh, I'm just gonna show you this Freon bottle that you can buy from the truck stop is uh, 134A and you can also see those pipes and uh, also directions how to refill that uh, you can buy this kind of uh, gauge or the one I had uh, either one works so 134a any truck stop buy maybe one or two bottles and that will be enough to uh, get you to the shop and uh, and uh, have uh, AC running in your system if there's any leak you know it may go down again but you can keep a refill until you get to the shop and uh, have uh, AC in your truck all right guys uh, please uh, let me know if you have any question and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.